Welcome to my Cisco Scaling Network. We're doing Lab Review 5312. This happens to be the Skill Integrations Lab for this chapter. Alright, so again, here are our requirements. Here's our entire document. On RA and RB, we need to do this. And uh, issue the clear MSPF command on RC to verify that uh, our routes are propagating and see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to do several, several configurations. So what I want to do is I want to do it in Notepad, make this a little bit simpler for me. So let's go ahead and do router A. So enable configure T. I'm going to be looking at gigabit 00. zero. I'm going to be setting up ISP, sorry, IP OSF. OSFP. SPF, we're doing message digest, 1, MD5, we're using the word Cisco. What I did was make sure to read through all of this. I'm doing that part right there. I'm setting my IP OSPF hello timer to 5. My IP OSPF dead interval 20. I'm setting my priority. Priority to 150. Okay, again, I'm doing router A, so there we go. Alright, next I'm gonna go ahead and set up the router. OSPF. I'm doing ID 1. Once I do there, I'm setting up my area 0 authentication. So we could probably leave it just off. Message digest. We're going to be advertising one network. One dot zero. The slash 24, area 0, and actually that's it for router A. Alright, what I want to do is, alright, we did that, we did that, we did that, we did that. Hello timers, dead timer, we're not touching our, our, our RC just yet. So that will give us what we need for router A. Oh, area zero. Let's try that again. Router OSPF1, area 0 auth mess, the appropriate network, change you to interface gig 01, all of that. Alright. So router A is taken care of. Let's move down to router B. Again, we're using the same gigabit interface. We're using the same uh, structure here. So gig 0, OSPF message, the hello timer. Here we're going to use the priority of 100 because we're doing router B. Hello timer is the same. OSPF is the same. Area 0 authorized error authentication mess is the same. The network is the same. So here we have our router B config. All right, so router A and B are done. All right, so lastly, we're going to do this last part right here. We're going to be setting up RC. So again, gigabit zero zero. We're doing the appropriate message digest. We're doing the hello timer. We're doing the dead timer. Uh, priority is set to fifty. All right, so that part's taken care of. Next, we're doing. Router OSPF, we're doing the ARC address for the LAN. That's what we did already. 
set the router to distribute routes and set all passive or all interfaces to passive so we're going to do passive interface default we're going to do a no passive interface for gig zero, zero. we're going to do default information originate I always there we go I originate and lastly we're going to do an IP route IP route <coughs> any any destination is going to go at zero 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 so let's go ahead and get that copied and pasted into RC3. And there we go. So let me write my Word document. One thing that I do want to point out is we need to issue a clear IP OSPF process what I want to do is all right so OS PF, let's go ahead and we'll do C show IP route show IP route spelled correctly there's our static route show IP OSPF neighbor there's 150 is our designated router 100 is our backup designated router Let's go and double check with RA that they are getting the correct info. So show IP route. I want to make sure that our default route is being propagated, and it is. So that's this lab in a nutshell. Thank you. Let's go ahead and check our assessment. And everything is complete. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.